Prime Minister, how many Canadians need to be buried before our government takes the tainted blood crisis and its impact on Canadian families seriously? It is estimated that over 8,000 Canadians will die because of tainted blood. The approval of private paid blood donor clinics is in total defiance of Justice Creever's fundamental recommendations of what never to do in Canada. And yet, Health Canada has gone ahead and licensed these private blood brokers. This news and Minister Philpott's comments in the House of Commons has shattered many in the tainted blood community. Our voluntary blood system and Justice Creever's landmark inquiry is their legacy, and it is being stolen from them so a private pharmaceutical company can collect Canadian plasma and export it on the world market. This will not benefit one single Canadian. Paid plasma is a problem. Throughout the United States, paid plasma centers are set up in the poorest cities, preying on the vulnerable and the poor. Paid plasma is a practice that the WHO is advocating an end to worldwide, and Canada must take a leadership role and ban the practice from proliferating here. You cannot expect tainted blood survivors to stave off blood brokers and their rapacious multi-million dollar lobby province by province. It is time to put this three decade nightmare to an end and protect Canada's blood system once and for all. If we don't end this now, everything that was fought for in our country will have been rendered meaningless. Canadian families who had to bury their beloved because of tainted blood are worth more than private profits.